I just got done with work and my wife, my wife's family, they are all camping. It is currently 16.50, that's 4.50. They are all in the mountains about three hours from where I'm at. Every day I have an hour commute to work. So right now I have one hour to get back home and then I'm gonna shower, eat, pack, and head to my parents' house. Let me back up. I have been awake since three because yesterday when I got home from work, I got a note on my door saying they're doing inspections for the fire alarm. And if you have a dog, put it in the kennel. I don't kennel talk because he's so well behaved. When Hallie and I leave for the day, he's never torn anything. He's never chewed anything. So this morning, I woke up at three because I have to be to work at six and it's an hour commute, which means I usually leave around 4.30, but I had to get to my parents' house, which is like 20, 30 minutes away <laughs> in the opposite direction. I got up at three, out the door at about 3.30, dropped Tuck off at my parents' house and got back on the road, got to work, 10 hours done, hour back to my home and another 20 30 minutes to my parents house am i gonna go back to my house no. Look, I miss you too. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Whoa, whoa. Do I look tired or what? All right. It's bedtime. It has been forever since I woke up after the sun. This is my my other wrist, right? And then this is my Apple Watch wrist. There is a dent in my arm. You see that? There's a dent right there. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Uh, just about out of cell service. And the last known location of my wife was here. And so I came from this direction and then there's two rows that go that way I think that's a dead end but it looks like it goes straight into the mountains and then that one looks like it goes to somebody's house so I think this is our option this is where we need to go but I don't know and so if I go this way and I can't find them I'm gonna have to come all the way back out into service and hope that somebody has come out as well to find me if not, though, um, I'm just going to be looking all day for them. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> like, I hope this is the right way. <laughs>
As I came over the peak, excited for the adventure, Google decided to take me down a dirt bike trail. Okay, um, I think this is the most scared I've ever been in my car. Uh, <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, oh man. Uh, you can't really see because I'm, but the car is like, I'm like sideways right now. I'm actually really, really uncomfortable. Um, so I went down this trail and it was basically like this kind of an incline. And I was like, uh, my car can't do that. Hold on. Uh, so I turned around somehow on this very, very skinny trail. Sound good. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. Crap. Oh, crap! Oh, crap. My car's not happy. Crap, crap! Oh! Guys, I'm not doing too good. Uh, I'm kind of really scared. This is my first time being stuck somewhere with no service. Uh, maybe I should try and turn back around and go up backwards because I have rear wheel drive. I can hear him struggling. Okay, okay, gotta turn off the car. Turn off the car. Started overheating. Yes, yes, I made it, I made it. I made it out. I had to stop for a little while, let the engine cool back down. Uh, I checked all the, the fuels, uh, oil was fine, uh, power steering looked fine, and the fan in the engine kicked back on and it cooled back down. So I'm just praying that all stays good for the rest of the trip. I'm a little worried. See what happens. tracker on him. What's up, bud? Can I take a picture of you? Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture. Water break for Tuck. He immediately ran down and started drinking some water from this creek. Look how beautiful it is, though. Beautiful. Okay, there is Copper Basin Guard Station. So we're here. At Copper Basin, and so if my family's down this road, we made it. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. We've hit. 
it. Our first roadblock. Yeah. I don't think they went that way. Okay, I found a campground. This is the only campground in the entire road. The hour long, or actually more hour, more than an hour long road. The only campground, so I'm gonna go walk through it and see if I can find them. If not, we're not in the right place. Negative. They were not there. Don't know what I'm gonna do. afternoon I still have not found them and I'm about half a tank of gas now and at this point I think I'm going to just go out of the mountains refuel and see if anybody got service and message me because I have searched everywhere I have been in the mountains like out of service I've not had any service since 11 o'clock this morning that means I've been out here for like four and a half, maybe five hours just looking for them. I could keep doing that, but I'd rather I just go out and see if anybody messaged me first. Because if they did, then great. And if not, then I at least need fuel. It's disappointing because I've gone so long without being in the mountains. And then finally, finally, I'm here. Look, I am here. I'm in the mountains. And I can't just stop and admire it and sit there with my book or my camera. I'm just continually driving, looking for them. So I just got to the gas station, I've filled up on gas, and Hallie actually did text me and say, hey, we are just past this campground. So we are going to turn around, go back into the mountains, one more time, and we're going to see if they actually are past that campground or not. Wish me luck. After hours of driving alone in the mountains, I finally found Howie. We were so relieved to finally see each other, and that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and check out all of my shorts of me and Tuck and our adventures. Thank you for watching.